Hello everyone, this is Aida Qolami from Agrimet Soft Research Company and in today's video, I'm going to teach you how to combine two cells in Excel. So basically, this has uh, three ways, but it really um, depends on what do you mean by combining two cells. If you want to hold the data in both cells and make them um, and show them in just one cell instead of two cells, uh, you can use ampersand and concatenate function. But if you want to combine these two cells, but just to uh, keep the data of the left cell or upper left cell, Mergen Center is a good choice for you. So I will explain furthermore in case you meant um, to keep the data of the both cells, you can simply put an equal mark first, then select the first cell, and then click on ampersand sign, and then select the second cell. Actually, what it does is that it sticks together these two uh, data, these two cells text. Okay, and if you want a little space in between them to make them more readable and more um, like uh, good, you can have uh, a quotation mark, then a space, and then another quotation mark. And of course, another ampersand to stick them together. So I click enter, and you can see that uh, this is, uh, you know, the data of these two cells combined in one cell. Then I can have it just for the next uh, data that I have. I act, uh, I need to just uh, keep my mouse in the right. Uh, down corner of the cell and copy it down and you can see it's uh, doing it perfectly. So another way to do that, to exactly do that actually is to use concatenate function. So another time I need an equal mark first, like I need to um, call any other function, I type concatenate and this is concat, concatenates a list or range of text strings. I double click on that so that I can select it. I click and uh, select the first cell, put um, a comma. Then again, I want a free space in between them to make them more readable. And then select the next cell, close the parentheses, and that's it. So another time, um, I just need to copy it down so that I have it for the next cell, and that's it. So, um, as I mentioned before, if you mean to um, keep only the left cell data and uh, have it in two, uh, in one cell instead of two cells, so that I mean, uh, if you want. This Aida Qolami be Aida in A, and you don't have any B in Qolami, you know what I mean? You need to select the two cells, click on Merge and Center, and Excel warns you that merging cells only keeps the upper left value and discards other values. So if I click OK, you can see that. Um, this is just the one cell in A and B, and there is no Qolami in cell B, B1, okay? So that's it. And uh, if, if, you, if you need that, you can go through it. And uh, another thing that I wanted to mention is that this function uh, works uh, with a range and it just keeps the upper uh, left cell, as you can see here, upper left value. And of course, I have another IDA in A, B from one to two. Okay, 
So I guess that's it for today's video. I hope you learned something new. Please don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video and bye.